What's going on YouTube? It's Mike here. Today guys in this video, I'm going to show you how to jailbreak iOS 7. Now literally 10 minutes ago of me filming this video, the Evasion team and the Evaders team went ahead and put out Evasion for iOS 7. As you can see here on my Mac, I have the page open. This is not fake. This is not a hoax. Uh, this actually did happen and this is going to support iOS firmwares 7.0 all the way up to 7.0.4 and even the betas of 7.1. It's pretty insane that they put this out. I was in shock when I saw it. Literally it happened 10 minutes ago and I, I just woke up to uh, hearing about it. So I'm just about to jailbreak it. I can't believe that it happened. Um, so let's actually get into it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is head to evasion.com. That's evasion with the zero for the O. And you're going to want to download your corresponding uh, version, whether you have Mac OS X or Windows. And after that downloads, you're going to get a little thing here, uh, evasion 7 1.0.0 window. And you'll have a readme.txt file, but you're going to want to open the evasion app. Okay, so we're just going to click OK. So as you can see here, I now have the application open and it says iOS 5 GSM iOS 7.1 is supported. So click jailbreak to begin. So even though uh, Evasion, so even though Evader says that it works for iOS 7.0 through 7.0.4, if you do are running a copy of iOS 7.1 beta, that is going to work. I don't know if this is going to work for future betas. It probably will unless Apple patches it. Um, so... I'm also sure that Apple will come out with a security update soon, maybe 7.0.5, uh, to patch these jailbreak exploits. So you're definitely not going to want to update. So let's just go ahead and hit jailbreak. Of course, make a backup in iTunes before anything. I think that's what every jailbreak developer recommends. And here we go. We just click jailbreak. Uploading jailbreak data. I'm really excited right now, guys. Uh, I had a feeling that this jailbreak wasn't going to be due out till next month, kind of like last year for the iOS 6 jailbreak. So uh, I'm very impressed with the Evaders team that they were able to put this out this quick. Uh, it now says injecting evasion app. And by the way, you could tell this is a 5S because the little uh, fingerprint sensor at the bottom. So it's crazy that they've been able to do it this quick. And there you can see uh, there's a little evasion 7 icon on my home screen. You guys probably can't see. Uh, but it is there and so we're just gonna wait you're probably not gonna want to click it yet but just know that it is there um, as soon as it gives me the okay I'll be more than happy to click it so it now says rebooting device so here we go that's probably really bright and it's probably hard for you guys to see but we got an Apple logo on my iPhone okay so to, to continue please unlock your device and tab the new evasion 7 icon okay and I did. And you can see it's just loading now. And it's just rebooting device yet again. That should happen. Uh, you know, don't expect to open the app and find something cool in it. It's probably just a trigger for the system. And now it's most likely going to install Cydia. So here we go through the reboot process just once more. Now we might get an evader screen, I'm not sure. There was last year, but I don't know if there will be this year. It'll be interesting to see. Maybe not. Yeah, no, there's not going to. <coughs> to, to continue, please unlock your device. Interesting enough, um, it, there was still an evasion iOS 7 icon there, um, and it, it was the second cycle for it rebooting. So now it's rebooting all over again. Uh, now it says done. Um, so we could click exit, but I'm just going to leave it open here for a second uh, while we wait for the device to reboot. But uh, if you wanted, you could now unplug your device or click exit. It's really up to you uh, since the jailbreak process is completely done now. It's all on the phone. It's no longer taking part on the computer. So there it is, the famous evader screen that I was hoping to see. Now it verifies for you uh, that this is a working jailbreak. It'll, it'll do calculating offsets and setting up packages, setting up Cydia, whatever it has to. Continuing with boot, it's going to pick up where it left off. Um, so that's pretty awesome. There it is, guys. So now we're back to the Apple logo. Okay, and finally we're done. There is Cydia on my device. I'm going to go ahead and set it up now. I uh, should take a little bit of time. It says preparing file system. So, uh, guys, I'm really happy about this. This means I could make videos quicker and sooner now about tweaks and stuff like that. So, 
uh, definitely be staying tuned for that, guys. Thank you for watching this video, and thank you uh, to the Evaders team for an awesome early Christmas present. Uh, I can't wait to jailbreak my iPad mini with Retina display, my iPhone 5C. I'm going to go the whole nine yards, so uh, it should be pretty fun. Thanks again, Evaders, and thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, if you liked it, please leave some comments below on your thoughts. Uh, of course, rate if this video helped. Uh, leave some thumbs up, and click the subscribe button below. And I'll see you guys in the next video.